Hello everypony artilisiana here, link to my Divinion art in the description below and also for my Patreon if you like to do that. Warning, this video will contain pictures from Google that is not mine. Please go and get credits to the respected owners of these pictures. And also this is going to contain spoilers for the new episode uh, Castle Sweet Castle and if you haven't seen the episode go and watch it before you see this video. Yeah, okay. 3, 2, 1. So we start the episode about uh, Twilight being too helpful because she doesn't want to go home to the castle. I do really love that she is, you know, not perfect and there is still some stuff she can't get over without help. For example, the loss of the tree and her home and all of her stuff, memories and things like that. I would be very crushed if that was me and my home was, you know, burned or destroyed like that. And I do think it's a very nice gesture of the main five or the rest of the group to uh, say they want to help her. Because I do believe they or with to Twilight or how to say it um, because she helped them find themselves in Magical Mystery Cure she helped them through the series uh, with a lot of stuff I do believe that um, also the things that she does that is too much has a representing of what um, she really wants or how to say that because in if you look at it like that she um, helps everybody else than herself uh, she gets herself messed up and um, you know want, uh, she needs to go to the spa because she looks like <laughs> something dragged out from somewhere uh, yeah and um, I do believe that uh, the washing of, you know, herself and trying to compete with Rainbow Dash and trying to, um, you know, help Applejack as good as she can with digging the holes has a deeper meaning, like uh, she's digging uh, uh, her own hole, uh, she's um, trying to win but she can o only lose and um, she's uh, washing her mm, you know trying to wash her fears away or how to say that it would make a more sense if it was drinking your fears away but I don't think the show will go that dark so yeah I also like the thing that they make for Twilight. I know that they start with screwing up the place and uh, everything is like, uh, shit. But, um, also sorry for the profanities. I do really love Applejack in this episode. I think she is the one, you know, keeping the others uh, sort of in line and helping as good as she can with stuff. And I know that the others also do this, but I do see a lot of potential in uh, Applejack's character. And I also like Spike in this episode. Uh, he does a very great job in trying to help Twilight. And we also see that he was sad of losing his home and his things and stuff like that. So I do believe he also would like the, you know a chandelier or what to call it that they made for her. Now for the gifts that they left for Twilight. I do believe that they should have made some sort of a uh, small library holder out of the roots in instead of this uh, chandelier but I do really love the chandelier so uh, I have nothing against it. It's just it's isn't that dangerous to have it over the cutie map a big you know root of solid oak tree or what it was uh, feels like it's going to fall at some point and destroy the cutie map and that that's not good um 
I have seen Frozen too many times to know that it's a bad idea to make a big chandelier and have it f thrown down on you. And I know that the one they make is holding up by two ropes. Uh, we see Applejack and Fluttershy uh, yeah, tugging in uh, two ropes and I think the big uh, root is, is setting in that. Also, I think the roots uh, represent, you know, family, like a family tree and uh, that the roots also represent, you know, where she has her roots, her family, friends and uh, I think it's very beautiful. I also like the stuff that Rarity ha have did with the dining area. I think it's uh, too bad that we don't see the rustic uh, kitchen that Applejack made for her and I would also li like to see the stuffed animals that um, Fluttershy left in the bedroom. <laughs> At first I was thinking about real stuffed animals but of course it's uh, plushies, uh, teddy bears and stuff like that. I don't know why I thought about real stuffed animals but I, I do see that it would be something that Fluttershy could actually do if she wants to preserve her, you know, animals and are caring much about them. But I don't think that Fluttershy would ever, you know, skin her animals and, you know, uh, put stuff in them and set them. I'm not sure. I actually made this a long, long, long time ago to make a evil Fluttershy because she stuffing the real animals, and I was laughing mm, a little bit because I know that the show after this, I know that the show meant the uh, you know teddy bears and stuff like that. So yeah, I I don't know. I do. I do really love this episode and I feel like we could all l really learn how to, you know, get over a loss or something happen something bad happening to us. Maybe also something about moving to a new home and trying to accept it and trying to, you know, <sighs> yeah, think about the memories you have and stuff like that. I also see the memory gems, or what to call them, uh, almost look like the elements of harmony gems. And I think um, it's only pictures, it's only memories and pictures in the um, crystals, right? But I also f believe that they will maybe be opened at some point and help Twilight. Just like uh, she helped the uh, other main five in Magical Mystery Cure, I think there will be an episode where she needs to, you know, open all of these crystals or maybe even destroy them. I, I'm not quite sure, but I do believe there is a deeper meaning to having these crystals uh, at the castle, and I also think uh, they are very nice and represent, uh, you know, the memories of things you <laughs> um, have lost maybe. I lost uh, granddad at uh, 2011 and I really do wish that I made a family tree or something like that. So yeah, I also think that this is a great a contrast to the golden ticket episode because now we see how they can work together to figure out who is going to do what and what they're good at I guess uh, they all know Twilight very well and she should be very happy that she has friends like that and I'm very grateful that I have family and friends too so yeah that's all I have to say for today Remember that inspiration is right around the corner and remember to have a great day. Yeah, okay, bye.